Welcome to the Trend Following Trade site. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of the TFT trend system. Now, if you look in the upper right, we're setting up here for a uh, trade in the CL, the crude oil. Uh, we do have what's called a touch and go trade, where we have the last Renko bar in the indigo color uh, sitting on the entry trigger line, and we use a stop limit at the previous or the or the last printed bars opening price. Uh, price came down, uh, entered a short with a stop limit. We put in our uh, initial stop and our targets. Uh, we trade the system with two to one minimum uh, reward to risk. Uh, as you can see here as the trades playing out, uh, we continue to move our stop down following the auto stop plot dots uh, that are auto plotted on the charts for us. And uh, as the trade uh, plays out, we have our initial and then a deeper target. A uh, person can use extended targets, or they can literally, after they've hit their 2 to 1 initial target or greater, uh, they could stay in the trade until the TDI, the trend direction indicator, which is our paint bar functionality, uh, changes the Renko paint bar to a different color. So we use a light blue or cyan color for uptrending price and we use an indigo or kind of a dark blue color for downtrending price. So here we are, we're still in a uh, trade in oil. So the whole uh, process of the TFT trend system is trying to move to simple, leaving complex trading systems kind of behind. So as traders, the TFT team, uh, we build mechanical systems that are what I would call simplistic in design and have clear rules. The objective of the trend following trade system was to build a simple visual approach to trading targeted to higher probability trend following. We designed our system with three key uh, requirements. We wanted to have the trend determined and we do this through the uh, trend direction indicator paint bars. We wanted the entry area highlighted and as you can see we have a solid entry trigger line that we use for that and we wanted the stop location uh, always indicated and we use our auto stop plot feature uh, that we're following currently in this trade uh, with our, our, our last buy stop. Now here's another trade setting up in the DAX. Uh, we had a touch and go trade. Renko bar touched our and printed on our trigger line. We uh, put in a stop limit at the opening bar price. We got filled we immediately put in our stop and we put in a minimum two to one reward to risk target minimum. You can put a greater uh, if you'd like but in this example I think we're just beyond two to one. Uh, we, do have, we do have our TFT trend system MOMO indicator or momentum indicator that was showing a divergence as we got the TDI paint bars uh, to change colors. We only take long trades when we have cyan uh, colored candlesticks we only take short trades when we have indigo colored candlesticks. So we don't fight against the uh, TDI indicator. We designed our system with these three key requirements that you can see in this example. And all the TFT trend system intraday scalp and position trades are always set up for two to one reward to risk minimum. And we feel that you know trading one to one reward to risk is basically an exercise in futility. The idea is to start following short-term intraday trends with visually simple mechanical entries and smart money management. For additional information on the TFT system and upcoming informational webinars, please leave your name and email so we can keep you updated. Currently, the TFT trend system is set up for NinjaTrader 7. We will be adding TradeStation and multi-charts in the weeks ahead. And if you have any additional questions, contact us at info at trendfollowingtrades.com. Thank you.